Though Qin Shengwang grew up in the metropolis of Beijing, he has always been obsessed with nature. Guided by his obsession, Qin Shen chose to major in journalism and communications at China's Renmin University. He was determined to become a reporter so he could reveal how natural landscapes are disappearing or being destroyed due to human influence. After four years of study, Qin Shen discovered it was difficult to gather truly objective information. Around the same time, he found that art could serve as a creative tool to amplify cause to protect the environment. Qin Shen then applied to School of Visual Arts, Photography, Video, and Related Media program, which brought him to New York City. I realized maybe it's better for me to use arts and like creativity to somehow distort the reality, but also at the same time telling the concept I want to uh, deliver um, in a more abstract way. Wandering in the city, Qin Shen notices the bizarre coexistence between men and nature within an urban environment. In his opinion, nature within the city is designed to satisfy human desire. For example, the beautifully trimmed trees along the street sidewalk, the carefully cultivated trees in Bryant Park that almost has no sense. Not to mention the iconic Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center, set up for the purpose of holiday celebration. To simulate the impact of human interference on nature, Qin Shen staged photographs that present the displacement of nature in urban ecosystems. Some works were assembled in the studio using paper sculptures, while others involved compositing several images into one. At first glance, these photos look like typical city scenes, but upon closer examination, audiences may find discrepancies within the artificial layers. I'm here in New York City, which is like full of concrete jungles and buildings, and nature always like inhabited their, themselves in like here and there between the buildings and maybe like small areas uh, that you will not pay much attention to every day. And that kind of nature um, kind of fascinates me because uh, you seem to find it as a living species, but sometimes it's more like a decoration with, without life. That I uh, gradually gain more interest in um, how to photograph them in a way to show that it is kind of constructed forms of nature. Sometimes I just snap some photos on street, uh, street corners and those pictures are uh, serendipitous and very interesting but I really want to recreate them in the studio and then I print out different photos on paper and I cut them into different shapes to reconstruct a scene that I see on the street that captured by my phone in a studio environment. If you don't look it closely, it will look like I shot somewhere outside, but it's actually like indoor. In addition to carefully observing how ignored plants interacting with the urban environment, Qin Shan also takes the time to observe small objects people usually take for granted and find new possibilities in them. In Qin Shan's ongoing project, the Longland Gardens, he collected some common everyday objects. After spending time studying the object, he then staged, photographed, and processed the images. By taking the objects away from their everyday life context, Qin Shan provides audiences with a new perspective on these objects, as well as a layer of emotion from the poetic narration. So I found this bent fork in my kitchens. There, there was like one uh, teeth that is um, bent and, and de deformed uh, and that like reminds me of um, like a Buddha's hand, like a Buddha's hand, hand gesture. There's a lot of things in everyday life that I um, ignore. Fruits and some plastic bags and some just normal household plants. We think they are um, very ephemeral, but they're actually quite special, or I wanted to make them special in a way that they are not themselves, but they are one element or other elements inside this uh, fiction's garden that I created. Ideally, I want to build more images and to tell uh, a somehow kind of romantic story about a garden that has sounds in it. 
For more information from Sunvision English Channel, you can find us online at yin.sunvision.net or follow our Facebook page at Sunvision Official.